Cause we here to take care of anybody that's around, bro. You think, bro, my son was on the spirit world champion of the world. You think we're gonna choose and pick who the fuck we fighting next? Are you crazy? Bro, in the history of boxing, he's the only boxer in the world to become on the spirit in 16 fights. They could get away with it, bro. There's no way that dude won, bro. No fucking way. Oh, yeah, motherfuckers sound like fucking bitches, bro. Oh, yeah, motherfuckers sound like fucking bitches, bro. Oh, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. Oh, this fucking, get the fuck out of here with those fucking pussies, bro. Fight our leftovers, bro. Fight Nakatani. Fight, fight, um, fight Lomachenko, bro. Come on. Show us something, bro. That's how it was back in the days with Sugar Ray Leonard, yeah, you had Mike fight Tyson and everybody, yeah. man. Why you trying to over here and try to bullshit that shit? You a social media dude, bro. I told everybody, you fucking scumbag. Scumbag, scumbag, scumbag. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this wouldn't be possible. Lord knows box. With that being said, hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Lord knows box. Jerron Boots Ennis has officially became the IBF welterweight champion of the world. Jerron Ennis is the type of fighter that was expected to eventually become a world champion. However, he wasn't expected to become a world champion the way he became a world champion. Terrence Crawford recently got stripped of the IBF title. And um, I believe Terrence Crawford is moving up maybe to 154 pounds. Terrence Crawford is at a point of his career where he's trying to make big money fights. He's trying to move up and eventually fight Canelo Alvarez. But this video right now is not about Terrence Bud Crawford. This video is about Jerron Boots Ennis. Jerron Boots Ennis is officially the top dog at 147 pounds. Jerron Ennis is undefeated. Jerron Ennis is extremely skilled. He's from my city, Philadelphia. Shout out, shout out to Jerron Ennis. Shout out to Boozy Ennis. You know, I mean Boozy Ennis. Excuse me, I keep calling him Boozy. I mean Boozy Ennis. But Jerron Ennis right now is the top dog at 147 pounds. 147 has always been the glamour division in boxing for years. In the 80s, you had Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Tommy Hearns, Alfredo Benitez, Pepino Cuevas. In the 90s, you had Trinidad, De La Hoya, Ike Corte, um, Pernell Whitaker, Obacar. And I can just keep going on and on. And most recently, it was Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. Some of those guys have moved up and some have retired. Terrence Crawford is moving up. Right now, 147 pounds as far as name value, star value, is a little thin right now because most of those big name fighters have moved on. But Jerron Ennis is still in a division where he can make a name for himself. He got guys like Mario Barrios, who's definitely bounced back very well from that Javante Davis and Keith Thurman loss with his victory over you, Dennis Ugas. You got Keith Thurman, who's still there, who has a win over Mario Barrios, who is still a dangerous opponent and is a marketable fight for anybody. And then you got Conor Ben. Conor Ben, excuse me, Conor Ben was kind of set back 
you know, due to the to the situation he had going on. But Conor Ben, to my knowledge, is about to face off against Chris Eubank Jr. Assuming Conor Banks, assuming Conor Ben beats Chris Eubank Jr., Conor Ben versus Jerron Ennis is an interesting fight. He brings a whole fan base from the United Kingdom. He has a whole country behind him. Jerron Ennis' star value, for me, is definitely undervalued. Terrence Crawford chose not to fight him because he feels like um, Jerron Ennis is not really going to bring much to the table. Even though Jerron Ennis has not been paid a million dollars for a fight, to my knowledge, I do believe that Jerron Ennis does have star power. He got the hip-hop following. He got Philadelphia behind him. He has an exciting style. Jerron Ennis is probably the most exciting fighter I've seen as far as pure talent since Roy Jones Jr. Jerron Ennis and Tiafimo Lopez right now are the two most athletically gifted boxers in the game, along with Javante Davis. And even though Jerron Ennis is not a brash, trash talker, but his fighting skills does the talking for him. Me personally, the fight I would like for Jerron Ennis next is Keith Thurman. Jerron Ennis deserves to be on pay-per-view, and I think him and Keith Thurman will be a big pay-per-view, and that'll be a big notch under his resume if he can be the first guy to stop Keith Thurman. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out, because right now we are officially entering the Jerron Boots Ennis era at 147 pounds. So with that being said, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to my channel, Low Nose Boxing, because Low Nose Boxing. I'm at work right now, so I'm out.